I'm gonna be creating a Dayglow song from scratch. What's up guys, it's Connor. Um, today I'm gonna be doing something uh, that I've never done before. I am going to be creating a Dayglow song for you guys. So basically, if you guys haven't heard Dayglow, he's a really great artist, you should go listen to him. But he makes like indie rock, indie pop music, and he's really blowing up right now. He's doing great. He just dropped a new album called Harmony House, which I'm a big fan of has a lot of 80s inspiration. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So as you guys can see uh, my screen here, um, I am using Logic Pro X. That's actually the same DAW that Dayglow uses. And the beauty of Dayglow here, I'm gonna create a new guitar track. The beauty of Dayglow and what makes uh, it so great for this video that I'm doing is he uses a lot of stock Logic instruments and sounds. So that's great for us because that means if you guys have Logic, you can create a song that sounds just like Dayglow as soon as you buy it. So um, to start off, I'm going to, I uh, already made a guitar track and I'm just going to select over here, you can see the different sounds for the guitar. I'm gonna select clean and one uh, sound that I see Dayglow use a lot um, is small bright combo. And if I pick up my guitar here and I play you guys a song, if you're a fan of him, you will immediately recognize um, this. So yeah, that's Can I Call You Tonight. And it was actually, he used this exact guitar sound um, within Logic. So that's what we're gonna start off with today. Um, and with Can I Call You Tonight, he uses a lot of these uh, ninth chord shapes. Um, those are also very prevalent in indie music as a whole. Um, so we're going to take advantage of that. Uh, there's also a lot of seventh chords used. Um, I think that's what I'm going to go with today, uh, just because I love the sound of seventh chords. Um, so let's see if we come up with something here. Okay, yeah. Um, so I guess we'll just use that. Um, that sounds pretty good. And, I mean, the guitar sound sounds great. So let's go ahead and find a tempo that we want to record this at. I think I want to go a little bit faster, maybe in like the 160 range. Let's see. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and record this guitar in, and then we can get started building out the rest of the production. messed up a little bit at the end. Let's see if you can tell. Okay, so let me actually just turn this down a little bit. As you guys might have been able to hear, I got a little bit off time there at the end. Uh, something that you can do, just a little logic tip that some of you may not know you can do. Um, you can go here, you double click the audio track uh, or the audio file. Um, you click on this little thing right here and you can click uh, turn on flex um, and you get flex time right here, which is a really cool feature within Logic where you can kind of time align everything. So as you see, I can like drag um, this to be right on the line um, and I'm going to do that really quick and then I'll show you guys the result. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, uh, I got everything perfectly in line using flex time. It's a really cool tool, not many people know about, and I don't see a lot of people using it, um, but it's very, very helpful. Um, so yeah, we got the guitar, and now I'm actually gonna create a new software instrument, and we're gonna add the drums. And again, Dayglo uses a lot of stock Logic drum sounds. My favorite is Retro Rock. I don't know if this is the one he uses, but it definitely can be used to get that sort of dead, indie drum sound uh, that he has and a lot of other indie pop musicians use. So um, there's a couple things I'm hearing that I think can make this better. So what I'm going to do is take this kick and I'm going to dampen it a little bit just to make it a little bit more dead. I'm going to do the same thing with the snare not all the way, but I'm also going to tune that up. And then the hat, usually these are too loud, so I'm just going to turn that down. Um, 
and then I'm going to add a little bit of high end to this as well. Perfect. All right, so now let's come up with a drum groove. All right, so I am going to record the kick and the snare first, and then I'll add in some hi hats. So let's do that. So now I'm going to click on that, just go ahead and quantize that with command Q. Um, and then let's go ahead and add some hi-hats. I really like this like open, open hat on the first beat. So we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and quantize that. So we got the drums. Now I'm gonna add another little line of guitar here um, that I think could add a little bit to it. Um, so I'm actually gonna use the same small bright combo uh, guitar. And this time I'm going to actually just do a little hit on the snare. So I'll record it and show you guys exactly what I mean. Uh, this is very prevalent nowadays um, in modern indie music again, so. Okay, so as you can see, um, each time I'm strumming on the guitar is when the snare hits, so. Yeah, um, just adds a little bit of movement to it and kind of fills up the space. So actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a different sound for the guitar because it kind of just sounds like the same thing. Let's try New Wave Chorus. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add a little delay here, um, which, uh, we'll, you'll see Dayglo use a lot. He uses this exact delay, um, but when I put this on, um, all right. So the next thing that I'm gonna add is bass, and I have a bass. I don't know. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use it. Let's, I, I have a bass and I also have bass plugins. I usually like to use the plugins because it's easier, uh, but we'll, we'll use the real bass for this. Um, so let's figure out a little bass line here that we can come up with. Three hours later. Okay, finally I came up with a bass line uh, and we're gonna go ahead and record this. It's really simple, just playing the root note. So we're gonna go ahead and record that in. All right, so we got bass, we got drums, we got guitar. The last thing that we're needing is a retro sounding synthesizer. Dayglo will use a lot of hardware synthesizers uh, like the Junos, the Profits. Um, so luckily for me, I actually have a Juno emulation. Um, so I'm just gonna find, look, I'm gonna go to keys here and I'm just gonna find like, not really what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm in the, I actually went into the pads section and I found a great sound here. It's called DT Letter, um, just so you can see. So that's what I'm gonna be using uh, for this, um, just to fill out the sound. So now I need to figure out the chords. So I'll come back to you guys when I figure out uh, what the chords are for this. Okay, so we finally got the chords. Um, now I'll play you guys um, what they sound like here by themselves. And then with everything. Okay, uh, 
it's starting to sound like day glow and I love it. Okay, so the next thing that we need to add is some weird synth sounds. If you listen to his songs, you know he has some like weird glitchy sounds um, in his songs. And again, I am lucky enough to have a plugin that can do just that. I like to use the Prophet V3 from Arturia. Um, great plugin bundle, the Arturia Vintage Synth Collection, I think is what it's called, or Analog Lab, that's what it is, Arturia Analog Lab. If you don't have it, you should get it um, if you're able to, it's great. Um, if you like making music like this, of course, if this isn't your type of music, uh, then don't get it. It's a waste of money. Um, but the great thing about uh, the Prophet is we can find some weird sound effects in here, like. So I'm going to look for one that will fit in with what I'm doing um, and then come back to you guys when I do. Okay, so I found this plugin called, uh, or this sound in the Prophet called Black Noise, I think. And it's gonna be great to just add in the background. Um, one thing that I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna go to Amps and Pedals, the pedal board, and I'm just gonna add in a little bit again of this delay that he uses. Just to add some weirdness to it almost, and we'll make it. And then we can just hit record and just add in some weird sounds here. I'm just pressing random buttons here. That's really cool. Okay, so as you can see, it just adds a little bit of like, um, it, it fills it out almost, just like kind of creates a scene. Um, and that's what he's really good at doing. And that's why I love adding in like just weird, I don't know, sound. Like, I don't even, I mean, I guess it's just black noise, but like. Um, okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna add is a little bit of a lead synth. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in the video, but I just hummed like a really weird, like I just heard this sound and kind of hummed it. I was like, dum, 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 dum. Uh, but uh, that's something that he does a lot in his songs. Um, so we're gonna try to do that here. I'm gonna go back to the Tal You Know LX. And um, I know in the factory bank, so if you download this plugin, there's actually a free version I forgot to mention. So I'll um, put that in the description as well to tell you know LX. In the stock, uh, the stock sounds that it comes with, you can see it has Juno Factory Bank A, and it has a synthesizer harp. Great sound, um, very 80s. But I'm gonna use that to create like this little lead. So let me figure it out first. My dog won't shut up right now. Let's record that. Okay, I'm so bad at piano, it's crazy, but it's okay, I make do. We can just draw this in. There we go, perfect. I'm copying that over and I did it. I did it finally. Um, okay, now I might actually want to use a different sound. Yeah, and then I'm gonna turn the attack down a little bit. And then one other thing I'm gonna add to this lead here is I'm going to add a reverb. So let's go over to Valhalla Vintage Verb here. I might actually also add that little delay again. Let's see if this will work on this. This might be stupid. No, not graphic EQ. This delay. I'm actually a big fan of that.
Um, I didn't write anything to it today. I might do a part two if you guys like this video. Um, but yeah, um, if you enjoyed, um, if you want to see more, if you want to see me actually write a song to this and show you guys how he does his vocals, how he writes a song, um, I would love to do that um, another time. So yeah, leave a like on this. And maybe if we, uh, I'm not going to set a like goal. I'm not going to do that. But if you guys like the video, um, I'll do it. Um, leave any comments down below if of other songs that you guys may want me to do or artists that you guys may want me to do That would be really fun. I enjoy making videos like this and hopefully we'll have time to do more So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed hit the like uh, subscribe Anyways, uh, yeah um, I'll see you in the next video